guys, what's up? It's D Fantasy here back with another video. And today we're gonna be doing one of my favorite decks, which is Plunder Patrols. So um before we get started, uh drop a comment in the comment section down below letting me know um what other deck profiles and videos you guys would like to see, as well as drop a com I mean drop a like and uh subscribe if you enjoy. And if you're new to the channel, hit that notification bell to be notified when I upload a video, and let's get straight on into it. Uh, we are almost at 100 subs, so let's let's see if we can get to 100 subs by the end of the year. Um, and yeah, let's just get straight on to the deck profile. Alright guys, so moving on, just the main deck. Uh, we are going to start off with Triple Whitebeard. Alright, so now, what Whitebeard is, your, your, it's a quick effect on your opponent's turn. Basically what it does is you special summon a, a plunder monster from your extra deck with the same attribute as your uh, monster your opponent controls or is in their grave. And then you special it out to the main monster zone or the field and just equip Whitebeard to it. That's while he's on the field. But uh, this one's basically the best one because uh, if he gets sent from hand or main monster zone, main monster zone to the grave, um, you, you could special summon any plunder monster from your deck um, but it locks you into plunders, of course, right? So this gets you access to anything in the any monster in the deck. So instant three up for sure, all right? Um, next we got um, triple Redbeard. Um, Redbeard does the exact same thing as the quick effect. Oh shit, that glare is really bad. My bad, guys. Um, let's see if we can zoom in here. All right. So um, what Redbeard does is he has the same effect as Whitebeard where during your opponent's turn as a quick effect, you can special a plunder monster from your extra deck with an, an attribute that's the same as your opponent controls or is in their graveyard and you equip him. Um, and if he gets sent from main monster zone or hand to the grave, you can target a plunder monster and equip him to it. Which in, goes in tandem with the extra deck monsters because uh, it makes some quick effects on your opponent's turns if they're equipped with a plunder card. He's, he's in this three of he's a good three of as well. You could cut him down to two if you'd like, but I don't see it necessarily. Also, one thing for Whitebeard uh, is he's a tuner, so you go into synchro place, which is nice. Um, next is the newest one, <laughs> hence the name, Golden Hair. The Golden Hair, the newest Plunder Patrol. So you can send another Plunder card from your hand or face of from the field to the graveyard to special summon it which is an instant free summon and she's a tuner as well level four as well as if she's in the graveyard you can discard a card uh or send yeah you can discard a card and then special summon this card but uh, as well it locks you into plunders as well right so so she's an instant three of as well because she's also a tuner and she's uh, not only a tuner and a free special summon but as well as an extender so Nine. The next monster we have is arguably can be argued whether you should play two or three. I've been playing three just because just to max out on the monsters, which is uh, Bluebeard. Uh, not a not a level. No, he's not a tuner, but he is a level four free special summon if you do control uh, another plunder monster, and if he gets sent from field or hand to grave, is as well as hand. Yes, hand or monster zone to the grave. You discard a card to draw. So it can if you have dead cards like. Um, Maybe you're versing for some weird reason. You just you just happen to have Nibiru game one against maybe like a Guru deck or an Altar Guys deck. Um, that doesn't really do good really well against control decks. So you can just discard the Nibiru just to add an extra card. You know what I mean? So he's not too bad. Um, you could cut him down to two if you'd like. Um, but again, I don't see it necessary because he's just, you know, again, Freak Stender and also level four as well. So it's good for your um, rank four exceeds. Okay, so that's it for the plunder monsters. All right, these next cards, I apologize. I had to lend to my friend. So these are gonna be the hand traps, which is uh, three, these are three ash blossoms and two Nibirus. Two Nibirus, so uh, Nibirus, uh, Ash Blossom is just this, uh, pretty much a staple in like, uh, it's just a generic hand trap, of course, that you can pretty much hit anything. You can hit against meta decks, you can hit against road decks, more effective against road decks, uh, because you know of the meta, current meta where 
you know, smoke grenades a card, but, um, or Dragon Link just play through a million hand traps. But uh, Ash Rossum is 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 a good his good hand hand trap as well, generic hand trap, as well as Nibiru. Uh, Nibiru, you can you can you can swap these Ashes or Nibirus for Gammas. Uh, I actually do side Gammas going second, so. Um, which I might actually possibly swap into the main deck, to be honest. But for now, they're in the side deck. Um, so you can swap out three uh, three Ashes or the Nibirus, or even add more Hand Traps if you'd like. Uh, for uh, Gammas, you know, Ghost Ogres, Veilers, etc, etc. So yeah, three Ash, two Nibirus for combo decks, of course. And Alright, moving on to the spells, guys. So, uh, next we have... Four copies, <laughs> four copies of Plunder Patrol Shipyard. All right, so what this does, it has two effects. So you can discard a card, add any Plunder card from your deck to your hand. <laughs> of course, except itself. Um, and if this card's in your graveyard, you could target a, a Plunder card in your Spell and Trap Zone, add it back to your hand, and then reset this card. So this card is actually insane. I've actually seen some nutty plays. Where if this card's in your graveyard, you can actually um, like normal summon a plunder, equip um, the emblem card, the emblem, uh, bounce back the emblem to reset this card, and then um, what's it called? Activate the emblem. You know, pitch a card, add any plunder card. You know, and then just reactivate the emblem, which is insane. You pretty much didn't lose anything. Um, if you're discarding, you know, let's say like a, in the next card, which is like uh, the fusion spell, for example, you know. So this card is really good. Um, yeah, three of for sure. Um, next, we also play three of. Uh, this is arguably the second best card in the deck as well for spells. Anyways, the Planet Patrol ship shapes ship shipping. So this is a fusion spell. Um, so you can fusion summon any fiend fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or field as fusion materials, of course. Um, and then you can banish this card from your graveyard, target a plunder card you control, and equip an emblem or a plunder card from your deck to, to it, which is freaking insane. So this is what I was talking about with uh, with Shipyard. So if you have this in hand and a monster and an emblem, you normal summon the monster, um, equip emblem, Bounce the emblem back to your hand from the spell and trap zone. Reset the shipyard. And then you could discard this to equip something else, you know what I mean? Or another card that you would need. For example, like a white beard. You know? It, it's insane, bro. This so this card this card is insane. So it's not only a fusion spell, which gets you an extra deck monster, as well as an equip monster or an extender as well, depending on what you discard. Which is nice. Um going on again. Next, three ofs. We this can arguably be put down to two as well, if you'd like, just for it not to be cloggy. But um, emblem. This is just an equip spell, and it lets you send, and uh, it gains 500 attack and immunes the monster, your plunder monster that's equipped by targeting. So, say goodbye to imperm. <laughs> um, but uh, what this card does is, yeah. So you equip it to a plunder card, uh, plunder monster. It gains 500 attack. Can't be targeted by card effects. And then you can send this equipped card, you can, as a separate effect. Special summon a plunder monster from your extra deck with the same attribute as monster on the field or in the graveyard. So this one is arguably, uh, that's also another reason why I play three, because the fact that it doesn't restrict you to your opponent having your opponent having a, a specific attribute in the graveyard is insane. So um, you could literally special summon red beard, I'm sorry, you could summon black ship, white ship, um, the new Popro ship, which is Lice. Uh, you can even summon the Link Monster, which is Blackbeard, uh, which is insane. So, this card, I really like the fact that it doesn't restrict you to um, anything, any attribute, as a, as, as a matter of fact. So, um, next, we play the Pot Cards Double Desires. Damn, that glare, man. Uh, pot of, double Pot of Desires with one Avarice. Avarice just for the grind game, of course. Uh, desires for extra draw two. You play pretty much three of everything. Um, you can arguably arguably play a third Nibiru as well. Again, like add more hand trap as I mentioned previously. So desires doesn't really hinder you. Um, it is essentially a plus one, um, and just average just for the grind game. You know what I mean? So yeah, you can if you want. You could swap out a third uh, average. The, the, that's average for a third desires if you'd like. 
uh, but that's totally personal preference. Uh, next we play one Foolish Burial and one Salvage for the one elves. Um, one Call by the Griff because it's at one and one Upstart making this a 39 card deck. Uh, foolish Burial to send the, you could also send the Ship Shape Ship Shipping or the Field Spell which makes it as, um, which makes this an extra extender as well. So this, this deck is pretty much full of extenders, uh, which is nice. And then you can play Salvage. I used to play this at two, but one's fine. You could play two if you'd like, but it just adds two Water Monsters that attack of 1,500 or less each in your graveyard to your hand. So just more resources back to your hand. Um, call by the Grave because it's at one and upstart again, as I said, to make it a 39 card deck. Since we are playing 40, and that is it for the spells and tr the spells. Sorry. Um, next we play Triple Plunder Patrol Booty. So this card is nuts going first because it's not only a continuous trap, but it also you can also declare an attribute, target a phase up monster your opponent controls, and it becomes that attribute. So it forces it. It, it not only. It's not only a continuous trap, but it gives you the option to pick which attribute you 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 need um, in that specific circumstance to be able to extend further with your plays uh, by by giving you more options to special summon from your extra deck, uh, the att specific attributes from uh, extra deck monsters from your extra deck. So it's it's really good. It becomes in that attribute until the end of the turn, even if this card leaves the field. And you can take one plunder card from your graveyard and you just shuffle it into the deck or special summon it. And it says plunder monster. So it doesn't it doesn't restrict you to levels or or anything. So it could be an extra deck monster if you have. And so recursion, uh, free extender, as well as gives you more options for attributes, which is insane. Uh, the only thing is if you don't control a plunder monster at the end of the turn, you just have to send this card to the grave, which kind of sucks, but um, so yeah. And then last but not least, we just play the triple infinite impermanence for to round off the traps. All right. Next. All right. That's it for the main deck. Again, uh, thir 39 cards, including upstart. 40 if you count upstart goblin. Um, next, we just play one Almirage for the extra deck. Um, this is literally one of the best cards in the extra deck. So uh, triple Blackbeard. Blackbeard is insane. So... He's obviously best arrows in the game for a link monster, link two. Two plunder monsters, including a plunder card, uh, plunder patrol monster. As a quick effect, you can target one effect monster you control. Special summon a plunder monster from your extra deck with the same attribute as a monster your opponent controls or is in the graveyard. And if you do, equip, equip that targeted monster to it and then draw a card. So let's say he would target himself. Target himself. Uh, and target like a fire monster you could special out the fire synchro monster and equip this to him so he switches from from the main deck mo main monster zone to the spell and trap zone and then you draw a card which is nice so yeah three up for sure because he's like your, one of your main monsters um that's it for the link monsters all right next we play uh two plunder patrol ship moark so you can Easily make this with the level fours, of course, as it sees. Um, what this card does is you can discard a card, target effect monster your opponent controls, and banish it. And then you can add a plunder spell and trap from your deck to your hand, right? So this is nice. But what makes this good is if it's equipped with a plunder card, it's a quick effect on your opponent's turn, which is nice. Um, so yeah and also that's why i was talking about having card a lot uh, card advantage in your hand because uh you need discard fodder for these extra deck monsters um next we play one totally awesome uh again i don't have access to it i sold mine so i apologize for that uh yeah one toad one bahamut shark to special them in the toad um one dweller <laughs> Yep, that's it for the XC monsters. Um, next, we play two lice. This is arguably the best. Uh, this is an Omni Monster Negate, and it can special summon uh, a monster from your spell and trap zone. So you can use, you can combo off with uh, Blackbeard to equip itself or equip a Plunder monster. 
spell trap zone and then use license effect to negate as well as uh, special summon back the monster from the spell and trap zone so uh this is nice also need discard fire keep that in mind uh, then last two the synchros same same effect as the black ship but instead you discard a card to um banish the spell of trap which is nice um and then you can add as well as the the synchro this lets you add spell and trap when you ban when you activate the effect and this lets you add a uh, monster when you when you banish a spell or trap and this when you negate a monster you can ban you can add any plunder card i also forgot to mention so again arguably the best these two are are good too i like all of them to be honest i can't even lie and then last but not least we play the one white or a whale and the one adamancer pater risen dragite all right so what this does is it's just a water tuner and one non-tuner water monsters all your plungers and monsters are water so it's nice so when this card is summoned you can destroy all your attack position all your opponent's attack position monsters and it can make it uh, up to two attacks on monsters during each battle phase which is nice and if it attacks a defense position monster you inflict piercing damage that's pretty much all the effects you need to know uh, and then for Risen Dragite, that's the reason why we sh you I would I would bump um, Nibiru up to three because you can not only use his bounce effect to uh, excavate top five if you get a rock monster bounce that many monsters uh, from field to hand or cards from field to hand, and then he's a spell he's a is it spell and trapping it yeah when your opponent activates a spell or trap or effect while a modern monster is in your graveyard you can negate the activation so he's just a negate. Um, again, pretty much all your monsters are waters, so all your main deck monsters at least. So, anyways, guys, um, I hope you guys did enjoy the deck profile. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Um, what you guys think of this deck, um, and if you guys would like a deck showcase for me, would you? If you guys would like me to do a deck showcase on this deck on uh, YGO Pro or maybe a ranked dueling book uh, video. Let me know in the comment section down below. And again, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, thumbs up, subscribe. Hit that notification bell to be notified when I upload a video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys.